Oh, it's beautiful and it's a great feeling and it shows why we all come to Rochester every summer for football. I mean, it's just a great place to play and we are the best team in Minnesota now, pretty professional. So it's just brilliant to be a part of it. Richard Denson with your ABC6 Morning Sports. Expect the celebration to continue for days, weeks, maybe even months. One of our local teams closed the deal and won the championship. Now, my heart hurts when our local teams get so close and come up short. So I'm glad that didn't happen this time because I didn't have to post my notable Malcolm X gif on Twitter. Now, as you heard Lucas Hart say, the Med City FC can call themselves the best pre-professional team in the state of Minnesota. Not only can the Med City FC call themselves champions, they can and will forever go down in history as the first, as this was the first Minnesota Super Cup. Aside from a heartbreaking loss in the NPSL region semifinals, the Mayhem have been playing their best football, not having lost a game since May 31st. And this is all despite losing several players the last few weeks because of agreements with their college team. For the team, their success has been about preparation, meet, and opportunity. It's amazing. I mean, the, the lads have done, done us proud all year. Um, I would say it's only the Minnesota Super Cup, you know, with the North Conference champions. So we call it the double. To win, a, a, you know, your North Conference championship and then to come and win this. And we, haven't, we didn't lose a game in this against some really good competition. Absolutely different class for the lads. I can't, I, can't be, I can't be more proud of them. The Minnesota Super Cup tournament is expected to expand to eight teams next season.